Hey everyone, it's Apollo here. Today I'm going to have the review of the Echo One Platinum Edition M4. This was purchased off of evike.com. Now, what you're going to get with the gun is, well, obviously you're going to get the gun, but it does not come with a railed handguard. It comes with a standard M4 carbine uh, handguard. You'll get a hard case, and it, in the case, it's just cheap plastic. There's a flash hider, orange flash hider that comes on the gun, but they also give you a spare black one, which I put on there. Um, you'll get one mid cap magazine, one high cap magazine. I have a couple of extra high caps in here. Uh, battery, you will not get a battery. You do need a nunchuck style battery like this 9.6 volt. Uh, this one's 1600 milliamps, which is good for this gun. Um, but yeah, let me get the case out of the way and move on to the gun. Because you can't use a case at an airsoft game. Alright, when you get the gun, it has collapsible stock, safe, semi, and full auto. The switch is very nice, it's clean, it locks in place, it's not wobbly at all. The gun is very sturdy. Zoom in a little bit for you here. It has obviously the colored switches here. Good engravings on it. I like the engravings on the gun. Would like them to have been painted, but I mean, you could always do that with a crayon. Just get a white crayon or the color of your choice. Fill in all the cracks and then wipe it off with a warm cloth. Um, it says Echo One USA Platinum Edition right here. see that. Um, I do have a star P-Mag in here. The reason why I have a P-Mag in here, this is an 80 round mid cap, is I was testing it to see if it would fit, because this gun here, my buddy purchased it, it's his, but he's at a tech school right now for the Air Force, so he got it shipped here. These P-Mags, and the star P-Mags, I'll have a review on them later, but they don't, they won't feed in this gun. Now, I don't know if anybody knows this, but this gun right here, the Echo One M4, the Platinum Edition, it's a VFC M4, but it's got VFC internals and it was just rebranded by Echo One. The handguard, the Delta Ring, does come down and you can take the handguard hand off. It has metal outer barrel, metal, metal inner barrel, metal front post for the sight, uh, metal mock gas tube for stability, metal delta ring, upper and lower receivers are metal, metal rear sight, charging handle, bolt stop, mag release, fire selector, trigger, the pistol grip is obviously plastic, the stock is plastic but it is a crane type stock. To get the battery in, there's two tabs at the bottom here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. There's a tab here, and directly on the other side. In order to get the battery in, you need to squeeze those tabs together and the butt cheek, the butt plate, will come off. Plastic butt plate too, although it does feel rubbery. Not too fond of that. Then, to get the battery in, I'm trying to get it to show you. You need to take this off, and the wire is in here. Then you put the battery in, insert it, blah blah blah. Put this back on. And then, butt plate back on and your battery securely in your stock. Six position stock. Comes with a one point mount for the bungee sling. Metal fake ejection port. Uh, port assist I mean. 
Injection port cover is metal. The charging handle. When you charge it, you pull it back, it will lock the slide, the mock uh, bolt back so you can adjust the hop up. Clear plastic hop up. It is a one piece, so it'll, it should be easy to replace with a polycarb one if you want to, or a metal one like a King Arms. You hit the bolt release here. Lock it forward. Not the best sound in the world, but I mean, whatever. It's easier than trying to hold it back and adjust the hop up with like a Tokyo Marui M4. Um, I have fired it. It's pretty nice. It's pretty decent. Good rate of fire with the 96. Um, quick thing though, if you don't want the standard handguard on there. Say you have like a G&G &G laying around like I do. I have a G&G &G GR16. The handguard for that, the rail system will fit on this very easily. Um, very easy to install. Uh, which will give you great options for accessories like lights, lasers, launchers, whatever you want, whatever floats your boat. Decent rate of fire, okay range. I mean, throw in a tight bore and a new hop up and you should be set. Decent gun, I believe it was $305 on Evite. Uh, great if you uh, looking to get a good gun for fairly cheap. I mean, 300 bucks is kind of expensive, but it's not the most expensive out there. And handguard goes back on. Getting the handguard on is kind of tricky, but taking it off is definitely the easy part. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Good solid feel, no barrel wobble whatsoever. Absolutely solid as a rock. Uh, very comfortable to hold up. Look down sights, front tower doesn't wobble at all either. So, good gun, definitely a buy. Alright, that's a uh, review of this. Thank you for watching. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, that's it. Thank you.